I'm really excited to share with you a new method for tacking pleats so that you don't see the tack points on the outside. And I created this because I had a project with Euro pleats and um, I didn't like the way that they looked after I hand tacked them on the outside edges. So I started playing around with some ideas of tacking to the inside first and then folding the pleat over. And it's worked great for me and I hope you like this as well. And you can also do this for other styles of pleats. And I do have a tutorial for this on my website if you'd like to check that out. I'm going to share how to sew the two finger Euro pleat with the tacks hidden to the inside. And this is fabric from a recent drapery project that I did. It's a very heavy fabric, almost feels like a canvas. So um, it is lined and interlined, but I did not use buckram. And um, I often don't use buckram when I'm doing Euro pleats. But I did do a low bulk heading. The inner lining is folded over for a single fold into the heading. So it's got a lot of thickness. Uh, for using this method, um, a low bulk heading or less fullness in the heading works better. I'm not saying it doesn't work to do it the other way, but you, you really need to have a generous pleat. So we're starting off by just marking a pleat in the center. I'm putting the fabric face to face like I'm making an inverted pleat. And uh, for the sample, I'll do a five inch pleat. So I'm going to mark half of five inches, it's two and a half. And then I'll need another mark for the tack point that I'm going to put on the inside of the pleat. So to do that, I'm going to subtract a half inch and then what's left over, I'm dividing in half. So for this, I'm subtracting a half inch from two and a half. I have two inches left over. So I'm going to put a pin in at one inch. And that's the size of the tack point. So I'm going to get that under the presser foot. And um, you tack down however far you want the tack to be. I have it at about a half inch down from the top. You could actually do this for a butterfly pleat and do it down two inches from the top. A two finger French pleat, you could tack four inches from the top but this is going to be a Euro style pleat. To the pin, I'm going to pull that out and then turn and stitch up and down this way. And be sure to back stitch because there is going to be a little pressure right there on that seam. So the tack point has been done. I'm going to put another pin to mark the other side of the pleat as I take this one out because I need to make an accurate pleat so I want to keep it at the five inches total and then that folds over and then straighten it and get it even across the top and line up the pins and then you can sew the rest of the pleat. Now I'm only going to sew down about two and a half inches. I don't usually sew all the way to the bottom for a Euro pleat, um, but you certainly can do that if you wish, or if you're doing another style pleat, you might want to sew all the way down to the bottom of the header. Back stitch. I'm going to sew down two and a half inches. Back stitch. And there's the finished two finger Euro pleat. It's very fast, um, it's very clean, and you don't see any tack points on the outside. <laughs>